So look, we're up on a roof in the middle of Waterloo. We've got lots of solar panels behind us. We're here at Solar Century. We're going to learn all about the sun uh, and how it can power your home and how easy it is to get involved in solar. Hi, I'm Derry Newman, the Chief Executive of Solar Century. We're a solar products company, so we're a combination of an innovator, an R&D company, so we innovate building products, solar building products. So we believe that energy and the ability to generate energy must become part of the built environment over time. Today we get it from a distance over long wires, you know, from things that generate horrible CO2. We over time, over time that should be at the place you need it, so if it's the point of need. So we believe buildings themselves using the sun shall generate the energy that people need to live in those buildings and use those buildings. So a lot of our work is into in putting energy into the built environment, putting solar products into the built environment. So we make the tiles we can see behind us, which are a residential product, so they get solar into homes and schools and hospitals, this kind of thing. We also make much, much larger systems, which get solar into industrial complexes and commercial operations. Hi, I'm Charlotte Webster, PR manager at Solar Century. Is there a question about how much solar uh, we can get in the UK? Um, do we have enough solar power? Yep. Actually, solar relies on daylight as opposed to blasting sunshine that you might get in the south of Spain. So as long as the sun rises in the morning, we'll be OK. Generally, there's two kinds of solar. I mean, there's solar which generate electricity from the sun, which is photovoltaic. And there's solar thermal, which heats water as it flows through the product. So both kinds are very relevant. I mean, heat is a big part of our CO2 emission problem. So if we can replace heat by burning coal or gas with heat generated from solar by heating water, that's a good component. So we have an integrated roofing product that generates hot water for homes and a very similar product, a sister product that generates electricity. So your roof can heat your water and generate your electricity. So you can do both. So having a sort of spread like the ones we've seen on your roof, I mean, is that enough to power a sort of family house or what does it give half the power or...? So the average family house, let's say, three bedroom, reasonably energy efficient, is it consumes 3,300 units of electricity a year. And a, a two and a half kilowatt peak system would do around half to two thirds of that. Uh, and is that the sort of size we're looking at yeah. here? Yeah. So you could perhaps get, you know, two thirds of your energy yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. You have something called We Support Solar, We Support Solar.net. What's it all about? We Support Solar is a group of companies, NGOs, politicians, um, and just individuals that really feel that solar in the UK needs a better deal and that people must realise how much of our electricity we can get from it. What we really want is for the government to introduce an effective feed-in tariff, which is when you get paid for your solar electricity. Um, it's good at the moment, but it could be better. So we're asking people to join our campaign. If you support solar, then that's where you need to go.